Hello everyone. Today we will discuss how to plot uh, request plot by using <coughs> suitable software. So the software today I'm going to use is ZSIM. So I'm just going to click open this software and uh, this is the interface of the software. So before uh, starting this one, we have to prepare the file. Uh, that is a data file as an input uh, for this particular software so this is my raw data uh, by using electrochemical impedance spectroscopy I have uh, observed this data so what I am going to do we have to uh, copy first three columns of this data this is actually frequency real part and imaginary part I am going to copy now I am going to paste uh, going to make a text file uh, let's say this is uh, a second data I'm just going to give second name open this text file and paste the data now we need to save this file as save as a uh, all files and a uh, data file dot dat that file now the file is saved this is date file oh, so we can copy this file to here date file I'm going to click here on the dead file and open this file so this is our plot uh, uh, actual data now we need to fit this data so this is the uh, this is from where we will get the circuit diagram and there are lots of options so by trying all these options uh, it is probable that uh, our data is going to fit so let's try first one uh, we just need to click ok and save results so this is the data we are getting by using this particular uh, circuit diagram now we can uh, use other circuit diagrams so that the data can be fit <coughs> properly and we have to check this chi square so this uh, we need to reduce the value of chi square so this value uh, should be in the range of 1 so uh, we just need to try other circuit diagrams and yes uh, from this one we will get a, uh, a reduced chi square but we can also try others so by one by one we will try all these equivalent circuit diagrams and still if the data is not getting fit then we can modify these parameters manually so there are options user input or uh, auto setup right now we are just using auto parameters so software is calculating itself all the parameters taken by software is just running out uh, I'm just going to try this one there are lots of uh, <coughs> parameters and lots of data uh, input circuits we are having So it is uh, running and uh, yeah. So by using the software, this particular circuit diagram, uh, the data is uh, the chi square is getting down. So we can also try others. There are lots of uh, options we are having. Okay. Now one more thing that we can do is to take manual entries. We can also done the manual entries. Construct our own circuit diagram, and uh, you have to learn about these parameters. So by clicking OK. Now I'm going to 
now we can check the parameters that we have uh, observed so you just need to click the on the monitor and click ok and these are the parameter we are getting this is total resistance this is uh, cpe1 specific capacitance uh, that is from first semicircle so this is the value this is the total resistance value this is the rct so this is the value we are getting of rct and we have cpe2 so the value of cpe2 specific capacitance from the uh, seven se uh, second semicircle of observed data and this is rs <coughs> and uh, uh, this is the verbal constant uh, coefficient we are getting this is 0 0.001191 so uh, we can copy these parameters and uh, uh, fill your observation table okay so uh, we can also export our data and we will use origin to plot the data So I'm going to save this one and we are going to plot that data origin. So I'm just going to take a new worksheet and this is our feeder data by using the name of second and uh, you have to take this one as a x axis and also the third column also take this one fourth column also take this one as a next axis delete this one and plot this data and you will get your fitter data and your observed data